I need to go to Vegas right now. We're f***ing up the mansion. Seven days to figure it all out. A bunch of artists, a lot of paint, paint the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> So here it was, the day we had all been preparing for, for not that long really, considering the size, and look at all those walls for Christ's sake. Anyway, there was no going back now. We were going to paint this puppy from top to bottom, every inch, we had a week to do it. Was it possible? We didn't actually know. Would you care to tell us, darling, what we're doing? No. <laughs> no <one knows. laughs> all the artists got busy with the prep work, but... There was just one more thing that needed to happen before we could start. Day one closes down. How are you feeling? Tired, covered in paint, but excited. We still think it's doable, don't we? Yeah, we got this. We got this. Mansion's still very much white, though. Yeah, that's the only thing. Is we didn't even really, other than my stupid smiley face, we didn't really even touch the mansion yet. So we're over here like we've got it. One day gone, six left to go. Day four. Day two, painted at the mansion. So on day one, there was an issue where the artist couldn't get up to the second floor. The house is a whole lot of white still in that house. So, uh, excuse me, sir, can I see your license and registration, please? All these late nights were starting to get to me. Well, as the artists carried on working into the night, the video team slipped off the bed. Cheating So we woke up on day 5 with a massive pair of bananas in pyjamas terrorising the mansion. What did they want? It wasn't clear, but they're definitely still drunk. Oh, no, my bad. It was Luke. Yeah. the house was really starting to take shape, but there were still some fine details that needed doing. Price working up here on the uh, the Playboy, Hugh Hafner, mural, which looks absolutely sick. Westwood was meant to be done yesterday, so we're behind schedule by a day. From money to do a big fat f off hundred dollar bill on a f mansion, then, yeah? Why, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Take a bat to the nuts if they don't come back. What? This one. Current situation more drama on day five. Two artists have just picked up and left. So, with the initial six artists down to two, Zach and Armani had to release some stress. Cheers, Ellen. Oh, <laughs> oh,
vero, sempre all'amabile, legge al proviso, il piango in riso, e non so dirlo, ma non mai mattino, ma giù Seven. Are we going to get it completed? Very yeah, skeptical about having it completed at the moment. Why so? Why so? Just so much to be done in so little time. With only two days left to the exhibition, and only around 60% of the house done, everyone was feeling the pressure, and rightly so. The seventh day, the final hour, it was really getting down to the wire, and we literally could not afford any more distractions or screw ups. But if you haven't guessed it by now, Armani's middle name is Distraction, and we were overdue a few screw-ups. Distraction 1, Baby Ligers and Tigers. Is that too much to ask for a freaking laser beam on my Ligers head? <laughs> Distraction 2, Lamborghinis. Got us another Lambo to fuck up. Let's go. Oh, fuck. All jokes aside, this really was coming down to the wire. We didn't know whether it was going to get finished or not, and the artists were working day and night and were absolutely burnt out by this point. So it was the sunset of the Villa Shangri-La for one last time before the exhibit. There were still a few more walls up front that needed doing. We had a lot of people come and go during this project, but the core group stayed the same. Seven 15 hour days, shit loads of pain and a whole lot of commitment. And what started off as a phone call three weeks prior turned into something quite beautiful. Villa Shangri-La our exhibit was the first of its kind. But somehow, I don't think it's going to be the last either.